Uh, Matthew chapter 25 reveals how the Son of Man will come in all his glory, surrounded by the holy angels, and will divide the nations of the world. As a shepherd divideth his sheep from his goats. The sheep will go to heaven, the goats are destined for hell, are the place of everlasting fire and eternal punishment designed by God for Satan and his demons. Does hell exist? Liz Weston, you say yes. The, the Pope, Pope Benedict, actually, the soon to be ex-pope said that it is a physical place of burning and suffering and torment and punishment for, for sinners. You believe in some sense it does exist? Absolutely, it definitely exists, yeah. yeah. Whether it's physical, like this room we're sitting in today, is a, a matter we don't know. That's a moot point. Yeah, but it definitely exists, yes. Mm. What, what, why? Why does it exist? Because there is definitely evil in this universe and to, I believe in the God um, who is loving and just and for there to not be a hell where evil can be punished, mm. um, it is impossible. So, um, the, the only way to avoid hell is what? Is to accept Jesus as your saviour and accept his death on the cross um, as payment for your personal sins. Mm. So, those are the terms and conditions. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you accept Jesus, you, you can avoid hell. Yeah. Did God create hell? Yeah, he created everything, so he, he must have created hell as the place So, he for created the, the means of torture? Um, it's a punishment for evil. I think mm. we'd all agree that it wouldn't be um, a loving and just God if there was no punishment, if you could do anything you wanted to. And we've been hearing about some horrible things this, this um, morning about yeah. torturing um, pensioners and, and people in care. Mm -hmm. And we all get this sense of moral outrage that such things can happen. And God would not be loving and just if he allowed that to go unpunished. Mm. Uh, Mohammed, you believe obviously the, the, in the Quran, what the Quran says, it's quite specific about hell. It talks about boiling water and smoke and searing wind. The fire of hell is fueled by the bodies of the condemned who receive new skins to burn as soon as the old ones are, are burned. And there are various uh, pretty gruesome uh, punishments. It's all there. Not fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's reality, is it? One of the things that we've lost, I think, in, in recent times in this kind of um, post-industrial and particularly in the 20th century is is the concept of um, what's unseen we've become very rationalistic and one of the things that religion particularly does is keeps that door open to to issues of um, the spiritual realm and different realms of existence uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him likened the realm of the unseen to um, as if somebody dipped their finger into an ocean and having taken your finger out, the water that clings to the finger mm. is the, the experience, the scene. Well, well according to Liz, you're going to need all the, the water realm. you can get, because you're not... <laughs> <laughs> but but there's, there's a clear difference between the Islamic view of hell and right. the Christian view of hell. As Muslims, we don't believe that um, hell is a place of eternal damnation, of, uh, of fire and brimstone, of a place where you well, will be... Well, that sounds pretty nasty. Where, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying there aren't... Well. Um, not nice things that happen in hell, but what I'm saying is that from the Islamic theological perspective, and this is the Islamic narrative, it's somewhere where uh, people would go, essentially it's like a penitentiary, you would go, you would, you would serve out a term there, you would become spiritually cleansed, and then you move to a place of final abode. But it's certainly, and it's, and it's far more, I think right. the model that Islam have is, is, is I think, far more um, inclusive, far more understandable. More inclusive hell. <laughs> I'm <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Listen, but, but everybody can well, get Liz, out. One, one question, maybe for both of you. The, the, this is the thing I don't get. Say you accept Jesus into your life and you go to, in your terms, right, and you, you, you go to heaven, mm -hmm. but some people that you love very much mm. and very much want to be with are in hell. Mm. Is not being in heaven then going to be a torment? No, it won't. Why because not? I will be with Jesus. No, but the people that you love... But the person I love the most is Jesus. But what about so the people be... that you love in your life? And but I don't love them as much as I love Jesus. So That's do you, do you become insensible and uncaring about them if they're in hell? Do you say, what, no, what the hell? My, my... <laughs> no, I don't say well, that. Well, can yeah. you not see that being in heaven would then be a torment? No, I can't see that, because when I'm here... There's a lower risk option in the Islamic hell, isn't it? <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Is, there a <laughs> is there a chance they'll get out of hell? Yeah. No. It's, it's um, definitely... There's, so there's you no stop caring meaning. about those that you love? No, you don't stop caring. I care about them now. The people I care about now, I tell about Jesus now because I know that when they die, it's too late. So you'll stop caring? 
I don't stop caring. Well, yeah, then no. it'll be awful for you, thinking about them. No, because it won't be awful for me thinking about them, because I'll be so happy where I am. But they'll be and miserable. They, but, but they have chosen that path. That's okay, their choice. So, I think it's... it's, I think it's it. I, I, okay, I, let me come to the audience, and I'll, then I'll come to you. Yes, sir, back there. It seems to me very much that religion always reflects what man wants. So, for example, if you think you've done good, or you think other people have done good, then they're going to go to heaven. If you think someone's done bad, then they're going to get a hell. Now, I, I hear a lot of people saying, well, I, I believe in a hell because there's evil, and people can't accept that Hitler and Mao aren't going straight to hell. And the problem is when, when, when you start to teach your children about a place where they will burn or the people they love will burn for the rest of eternity, you are then teaching someone a principle that really is quite damaging to them. Uh, uh, the yeah. Hello. Um, I'm not religious, so whether there's a hell spiritually doesn't really concern me. But what I can say is, how can we say that there's not a, a hell on Earth with the Holocaust and when it comes to, like, HIV, AIDS and things like that? There are plenty of glimpses of hell. Yeah, here, there yeah. are. That's, that's and... a very good point. And, yeah. I, and oh. I'd just like to add that there's been a couple of points. So, um, and, and I think it's important to kind of understand that all religions don't have the same perspectives and, you know... Um, and uh, so in terms of the Sikh, Sikh perspective, um, it's not life isn't seen as a linear process. It's not that you're born and you die and there's an end. It's a, a cyclic process. So it's, there's, a, there's an unlimited uh, number of lives that you may go through. Um, and, and hell is, is considered to be uh, more of a state of mind, a state of being that you may experience while you uh, mm. live here on this earth, which is a very short amount of time. Um, and, the, and the suffering that you experience um, through, your, through your lives is, is the process of, um, somebody referenced, kind of spiritual regeneration. Um, so it, it's, not, it's, not, um, it's not that there's, a, there's an end point necessarily. Um, it's a, a constant... Yeah, yeah, there's a constant cycle. Chris Hugden, uh, of course you believe that unless they embrace Jesus, they're, they're, for, the, they're for hell. Um, well, I think what we've got to do is, is, is ask the question, uh, what are the grounds on which people are received by Jesus into his great future, that, he, that he's there w waiting to welcome us in? You need to listen and, to this. I'm listening very closely. And it, it seems to me in the, in the Bible as a whole, you have uh, the, the, the way that Abraham was received through faith. And Paul, after Jesus, says that's the way, through faith in what God has done. And it seems to me that uh, if that is the pattern that Abraham believed God and it was reckoned that he was in the right with God, then those who uh, live according to God's way but see it's a gift, it's grace... Through Jesus. Through Jesus. Uh, and there are many people who, in the, in, in the annals of mission history, hear about Jesus and said, I always knew that, I never knew his name. That there, there will be people, I'm sure, who will represent the faith of Abraham and his receiving it of grace. It's not to do with anything we've done because we're all under the same condemnation. That's what the scripture says. So we says. can do that. We can do as altruistic as we like. That we can do the wonderful that, things that, that, that Elaine did, we heard about earlier on. We can and, do good, we can well, and help people. And, and, hold on, and, and we do, if we don't accept Jesus, Liz... Then, yeah, we, we are destined for hell. Because it's a we're gift. We're destined for hell. Kevin. <laughs> Cue Kevin, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm horrified at hell. Uh, mm. the, the great news I've got for you here and the people watching is there is no such place as hell. Hell does not exist. Um, <laughs> but, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you said... That. Wait a minute, let, what, let him finish, not come back what to I you. Think is, and what I think is that hell is a human construct of social control. It was invented by people... It was invented by people to terrorise their citizenry. I, I did an exercise, and this is an absolutely true, I did an exercise with a group of professionals a few years ago, and we started off and we said, build your paradise island, roll around in teams, build your paradise island, and they each produced five teams, their paradise island. One team, slap in the middle of their island, was a prison. So, I think that's really important, because what I think that we use hell for is exclusion. When you go to the Catholic faith, and what, how the Catholics define hell, the Roman Catholic Church defines hell as exclusion for the presence of God. We've heard about the Plymouth Brethren. We exclude people from our communion. Uh, Francis the, is a Catholic. Catholic. The exclusion is a key bit. It's, what is that about, for exclusion from the presence of God? Is that a reality? Well, because the true nature of God is awesome love and an awesome mercy. Yeah, so to be excluded from awesome mercy from all time 
would be terrifying. It's a physical experience. Well, it's a physical experience, but, but to, to emphasise the eternal dimension seems to me to run away from things that we know about. You can be in church loving Jesus mm. and let your brothers and sisters be shot to pieces by the military dictatorship. You can be in church loving Jesus and let people go to the prison camps in Srebrenica and in Auschwitz, and that's not good enough. There are glimpses of hell today. An abuse victim who's Pope has failed them systemically and is going to go and get replaced by a bunch of cardinals who have failed them systemically on child abuse, is living uh, through a living hell systemically. Uh, uh, and in that sense, there's a middle place. Yes. Hands on. Come to hands those, those things you're talking about, they are indeed not meant to be part of this world. That's why you're calling them living hell. They're not meant to be part, and it's the consequence of sin. Um, it's the consequence of sin that we have things like that. Unless you don't. But, but, but hell provides, yeah. hell provides an, I mean, in that sense of, you know, Jesus is mm. a contract lawyer. Do me a deal in church, and I'll sit in church whilst the world suffers. Ain't that, good enough. Listen, listen, well, listen, listen, I, I know you, you came in with the hands back there, and you're desperate. I am absolutely I'm desperate. disgusted by Liz's interpretation. Yeah. This is just glorified, as we know other great dictators such as Hitler. You are projecting your views and beliefs, and you're saying if you don't stick to that and go with me on it, then you're going to hell. How dare you sit there and and put these profanities well, into this she's arena. Not, she's not I'm projecting not doing anything it. on yeah. you. No, she, she is. Much, she's, she's, she's using that language. Hell. She is. I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll come back to you in a minute, because other, other hands went up. Yes, sir. Um, Quick one. I think I, the problem that I have with hell is the condition for um, entering it. Um, as you said, um, it's about accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. And there are plenty of people who do not accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour that are good people. And it seems unfair that Mo. you can... Exactly. Um, it seems unfair that um, you can live your whole friend. life doing bad things yeah. and still get into heaven yeah. simply because you accept Jesus Christ. Yeah. Christ. Chris. I accept uh, and understand Peter's uh, professional competency, but I would rather believe the words of Jesus about the future and what has to, one has to do about <laughs> it than the, word, the words of Peter. Um, Jesus is the one who speaks most about uh, the, the kingdom of God that is coming, the new heaven, the new earth, where justice and righteousness will so, be at So home. Gandhi and is getting tortured right now? No. I'm, what I'm saying is... Jesus that, Christ. It, it, is yeah, not, it, it, it is not up to us. No. It is not, it, first of all, it is not up to us. Yeah. Secondly, I think you have got to look at the other, other way around on this. You hear many people, when there have been victims of terrible injustice, terrible wrongdoing, you know, say we must have justice done and, you know, that becomes uh, not only through the courts, but it becomes violence, it becomes all sorts of things. The Lord says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. In other words, if you remove mm. the possibility that there is any final, you know, sorting out, then you do leave it all down to the, the justice that people would seek to meet out in this life, and none of us is good, good enough to know well, what, what, what that is. Your, your, what that your, is. your group is Anglican Mainstream, right? There was, yes. a, there, was, there was a report, there was an email sent uh, to Alan Wilson, the Bishop of Buckingham, who's been very supportive of gay marriage, from, from a member of your group, saying, he's beyond reach, give him up to Satan for sifting. Is that what you mean? Well, it, it not, 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 that's not necessarily from a member of our group. That's somebody who uh, has really real concerns about those issues. It's reported as a member of your group. Well, that's a, maybe a misreport. Mm. Um, the, the point is that the scripture tells us that Jesus says there's a new world coming and he's waiting for us there. Right. So it's the good news. Well, 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 I'd like to make the point here. Is yeah, that, I mean, Kevin made a reference to the exclusive brethren. <coughs> now, I was brought up in this sect. Frankly, I left. I'd rather take the risk of going to hell than going back into that kind of sect yeah. that preaches hell and damnation. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very difficult for us to determine if there is a hell. As everyone here in this discussion, we're still alive. You're not so wrong. We haven't been to the afterlife. But I think, as a Christian, I believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And if Jesus Christ did rise from the dead, he's the only person in humankind to have experienced the afterlife. Therefore, I trust his, his testimony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I find it totally nonsensical that we can um, define God as both omnipotent and omnibenevolent. How can we have an, an all-loving God who, in his powerful nature, creates a hell? Yeah, yeah I, th I think that, that, that's, that's an interesting point. And, um, I, think, so, okay. I don't think enough attention is really given to um, more indic perspectives of, of life after death. First of all, we're defining life as something that is is current and, and, and only of this world. That's, 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 that's an assumption that we've made based on our, mm -hmm. uh, our kind of um, uh, more Christian perspectives. I'm not saying one is better than the other. All I'm saying is that there's other, there's, there, there are other um, thoughts, thoughts out there mm -hmm. and um, that actually 
um, from the Sikh perspective is that actually we're spiritual beings. Yeah. And, and similar to the analogy of, yeah. um, say, for, so, somebody mentioned Hitler, um, that we are uh, breathing, the, we still breathe the air yeah. of, of Hitler and we, we share that. I kind of like so. Mo's idea that, you know, if you do wrong and you go there, there's, a, there's, a sort of a, there's an appeal system. You, you pay know? your dues. You pay your dues <laughs> <juice laughs> and you move on. Whereas Liz, <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> saying, Chris, you're saying that, you know, that's it. Yeah, well, we're that's, there ain't no way out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a one-time, yeah, final. European Court, no European second chance. European Court of Justice, yeah. not, nothing. No, the thing, the important the, I've, got Peter, I've got Peter, <laughs> Peter Bowen going, the, European Court of Justice. The important Chris, point that Chris was making is that God doesn't want people to go there. He, the reason he sent Jesus is so that we don't have to go what there. What if you misbehave Nobody, in heaven? If you're in heaven and you... There, is, there is no sin in heaven. Oh, no sin well, in heaven. What's important is that it, it, it challenges people yeah. to, to live in a better way um, in the society that we have, while we're in this in this in this you, life, Kevin, we, should, you don't need, we should live. You in... don't need God and Jesus for that. You need Jean Paul Sartre. Jean Paul Sartre, who said, "Hell is other people," and he also, and he also it's a said, terrible thing to say. And he also said, "We are condemned to be free," and that's what you need. You need in 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 our one existence to be free to make good choices. You La don't need hell. Lady back there, hello. Hi. Um, it's quite hard to believe that hell's not a religious device to control people when in the Middle Ages people could pay to have their sins taken away from them. And... That, 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 happened. that happened because people did not properly understand uh, the work of Jesus Christ. Uh, coming to us to, to bear our sin for us. You made the point, Nikki, about sort of deathbed conversion. We, uh, that's a very important part of the Good Friday story, which we're coming up to, is that the thief on the cross said, Lord, remember me when you come in your kingdom. Hmm. And that thief was, Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. That is the immense, un un understandable grace and mercy and immense love of God. That Just, can't we haven't got a lot of time. Uh, is it only Muslims in, in heaven and and whatever not at all not at all well, one, one of the things from the islamic tradition is that um there has been a chain of revelations come through different prophets and mm. messengers and the quran and the prophet muhammad peace be upon him are the final part of that jigsaw puzzle but not the whole jigsaw puzzle all right Phew. there we are thank you all very much for taking part as ever debates continue online and on twitter next week's in albans thanks to everybody here have a heavenly sunday <laughs>